Well, here it is, and doesn't it look good? Triumph have released details of the updates to the 2021 Speed Twin, and it's all good news. The new Speed Twin carries forward many aspects from the already fantastic previous model with some new tweaks and upgrades in key areas. Let's start with the trip down memory lane. The original Speed Twin, a 500, was released in 1938 and was the first successful bike to mate a parallel twin engine to an outstanding handling chassis. This is the heritage and the ethos that Triumph carried through to the 2018 Speed Twin and now they just made it even better. Let's dive into the details. Hello and welcome to Moto Chatter. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Starting with the engine, the new Speed Twin is still running the 1200cc parallel twin high power Bonneville engine, but it has seen some internal modifications. It's now Euro 5 ready, but with more power up 3 PS to 100 PS or 98.6 horsepower at 7,250 RPM. Peak torque remains at 112 Newton meters or 82.6 pounds foot, but it's reached lower down in the red range at 4,250 RPM as opposed to the previous 4,950 RPM on the outgoing model. Triumph tell us that there's more torque and power in the mid-range over the previous model too. The new Speed Twin should be even more responsive with 17% less inertia thanks to a lighter crank and alternator. Other engine upgrades include new high compression pistons, revised ports and new cam profiles. Thanks to these upgrades the Speed Twin's redline has also increased by 500 RPM. I told you it was good news. Further key upgrades come with the suspension and brakes. Out the back things have remained the same with the twin shock setup adjustable for preload and a two piston nice and caliper with a 220 millimeter disc. At the business end we see some big changes. Discs are up from 305 millimeters to 320 and we find a pair of Brembo M50 monoblock radial mounted calipers. These should provide stronger initial bite, more feel and better brake fade characteristics. The good news continues with the forks which are now upside down Marzocchi forks and are up from 41 millimeters to 43 millimeters. There is 120 millimeter wheel travel front and rear and the new wheels a lightweight cast aluminium 12 spoke and come dressed in the higher spec Metzler Racetech RR tyres. If you've watched my Triumph Speed triple video you'll know these are my favourite tyres and if you haven't tried them you should you will not regret it. Triumph for saying the Speed Twin now has higher performance and better handling and judging from these upgrades they can put a big tick in both of those boxes. The new Speed Twin carries through the tech from the previous model with the three riding modes being upgraded to go with a new engine specification. Other features include ABS and traction control which can be switched off independently of the riding mode and all are adjustable on the move. The Speed Twin has all round LED lighting with a DRL headlight where market legislation allows, torque assist clutch, underseat USB charging port and an immobilizer integrated into the key. There is also the option to add a tire pressure monitoring system and heater grips if you wish. Styling wise the most notable updates are to the tank and the exhaust. I am so glad Triumph has addressed the exhaust. It was my only bugbear with the old Speed Twin. I really felt that the old silencers didn't fit and spoiled the classic look of the bike. I was lucky enough to borrow a Speed Twin in 2019. It had the optional Vance and Hind silencers which looked great. Thankfully the brushed stainless steel silencers on the new Speed Twin are a big improvement aesthetically over the previous standard silencers and with the upsweep and Triumph cleverly hiding the catalytic converters underneath the bike they really enhance the classic look now. The new tank graphics also help with this, they are smaller and subtler and let the classic lines of the bike stand out more. Other styling touches include brushed aluminium mudguards and heel guards, adenized headlamp mount, clear adenized swing arm and the classic Monza filler cap. When I rode the Speed Twin back in 2019 I called it the every bike. You can look at its classic lines and it receives admiration from all sides, you can cruise around in comfort, you can commute in style and you can go scratch some back roads while seriously worrying any sports bike you come across. The old one revs so freely it turned with ease and was rock solid at lean. Now it should do all that 
even better. With the upgrades and continued attention to detail, it seems Triumph have turned the speed twin up from 10 to 11. Thinking practically for a moment, the speed twin has an accessible seat height of 809mm, 31.9 inches, and slightly wider bars over the previous model at 778mm. Fuel consumption from the 14.5 litre tank is 46.1 mpg, and the first major service interval is 10,000 miles. There is a huge accessory range specifically for the Speed Twin with over 50 items to choose from which include styling, protection, security and comfort options. Check out the Triumph website and have a play around with the configurator to see which would suit you. You'll see that as with the previous model there are three colours, Red Hopper, Matte Storm Grey and Jet Black. They all look good but I think the red just pips it for me. Since I rode the previous Speed Twin, it left a lasting impression. Its performance belies its classic looks. It has all the performance of the Thruxton, but it's more usable with its upright riding position. Aside from the look of the old silencers, the only things I would have looked to improve on the old model would have been slightly more revs, more mid-range torque, which is always handy, and better spec brakes and forks. Not that there was anything to complain about, silencers aside, with the old model, but the upgrade and tweaks Triumph have made should perfect an already fantastic machine. I am really excited about this bike and can't wait to get my hands on one. Even if it's not your kind of bike, have a go on one, you'll be surprised and at the very least you'll be smiling all day. I'll be getting my leg over one as soon as possible, but what about you? Let me know your opinion in the comments below and tell me your experiences with the previous model. Remember to subscribe for plenty more motorcycle videos to come and if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Whatever you do, have a great day and thanks for watching.